Welcome back to Actual Edge, where we bring you the latest breakthroughs in medical research. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Today we explore a potential game changer in the treatment of the varicella zoster virus, responsible for both chickenpox and shingles. Let's dive into the findings from a recent study conducted by University of Georgia researchers David Chu and Uma Singh. You've probably seen the commercials urging you to get the shingles vaccine, emphasizing the lingering threat of the varicella zoster virus. But what if there's a more effective treatment on the horizon? Researchers at the University of Georgia might have an answer. David Chu and Uma Singh have developed a novel molecule patented as POMLBHDU, offering potential treatment for the varicella zoster virus. Unlike existing drugs that may have limited efficacy or serious side effects, this molecule shows promise in effectively treating shingles lesions and could extend its reach to combat oral and genital herpes virus. Uma Singh, the lead author of the study and a lecturer in UGA's College of Pharmacy explains, many viruses are becoming drug resistant to current medication. There is a continuous need for new molecules and the one we developed shows more potency against the virus than current ones. The versatility of POML BHDU doesn't stop there. It's not only safe for treating the varicella zoster virus in cancer patients, but can also be applied topically taking orally or administered intravenously. This opens the door for a potential cream-based medication offering an alternative for those who prefer localized treatment. Currently available of drugs for varicella zoster virus infection may pose risks and have limited effectiveness. For instance, cedofovir, a commonly used antiviral, can lead to severe kidney complications. The newly developed molecule allows for targeted treatment, reducing the risk of systematic side effects. Singh envisions POML BHDU as a broad spectrum molecule effective against both the varicella zoster virus and herpes simplex 1 and 2. Whether in capsules, intravenously, or topically, patients could choose the administration method that suits them best. The researchers are eager to move POML BHDU into phase 1 clinical trials in the next couple of years. Singh emphasizes the potential societal impact and hopes the topical formula will eventually be available over the counter, providing convenient access for patients without the need for a prescription. As the research progresses, we'll keep you updated on this promising development. Stay tuned to Actual Edge for more on the latest advancements in medical science. Thank you for joining us today.